There, same with that one. Creative learning sounds a little like bedlam at first, but soon questions and instructions rise above the din. When you put this bottom piece in, if you come in through these pre-drilled ones, and soon nest boxes take shape. What's the hardest part so far? These hard-working middle schoolers at the Wyndham Open School in South Minneapolis have a mission. Their aim is to boost the local wood duck population one nest at a time. We're helping them by making the wood houses so they could live on and make and lay their eggs so they could come here. We had one hour today with over 30 middle schoolers to assemble a dozen wood duck houses. And as you saw, they did a wonderful job and paid great attention to detail, and I think they learned a lot as a result. It's the best way of, uh, for them to learn about science and wildlife is to be actually a hands-on project, so I'm really happy. This hands-on learning project puts power in the hands of the kids and allows them to put their mark on an effort that holds potential for wildlife and the community as a whole. In the city, it's harder to find wood ducks. By putting the houses up, all of our neighbors will be able to enjoy wood, duck, wood ducks more. They were actually so rare in the early part of the 1900s that they almost became extinct. Preserving the Woody's distinctive place in the landscape became a priority. People started protecting habitat and putting up wood duck houses all over the state. From the 1950s to the present, those efforts have been remarkably successful. Wood ducks are now one of the most common waterfowl species in Minnesota. They've come a long way, and so has our knowledge of which conservation efforts work best. Nowadays, the, the new technique is to put these on predator-proof posts where raccoons and other predators can't get up the pole. Raccoons are the number one enemy of nesting wood ducks. They'll go up, they'll capture the hen, they'll kill the hen. Uh, oftentimes they'll even get into the hole and, and uh, eat the eggs as well. The real fun with nest boxes, it's not just putting them up and walking away. It's checking them weekly to see what's happening because there's a real drama going on all the time. And it, part of the fun of the nest boxes is just recording what's going on and learning from problems and, and making them better the, co the following year. Now there are even ways that you can enjoy this firsthand because there are special spy cams that you can put inside of a wood duck box and run back uh, 100 feet of cable back to your house if you're fortunate enough to be close to the marsh where the birds are nesting. And you can actually watch the wood ducks incubating and hatching their ducklings uh, at the kitchen table. That's another part of the Wyndham School project. A neighborhood volunteer allowed his nest box to be outfitted with the latest in spy cam technology. Through a computer link on the school's webpage, the public could watch activities in the house in real time. This year, we watched a mother merganser raise her family. This is the kind of a model that can be applied anywhere. I any other school system or a teacher's um, can take advantage of this uh, as a model and apply it uh, throughout the state or other states as well. This is an example of what we should all be doing. Do you want to try to dig? Have you ever used a post hole digger before? You have? Yes. On a beautiful spring day in May, the middle school kids take another step. It's installation day on the shores of Grass Lake. Oh, is this team four Thank here? You. This yeah. is team four. All right, come on, let's, let's see a little muscle. Put one and put the other hand right on here to push there. there. Wow. Look at that, just like you doing it all day. Oh, I'm nervous. I ain't trying to this kind of thing. We're putting the wood the house. What what do you hope happens? Well, I hope the more birds come and well put their eggs and get more, more and more. Are you going to come back and check on your box? Yeah. Bring my mom, dad. Yeah. Show them. Oh. That'd be fun. See the babies? I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I think they all enjoyed it. But some people got into it a little more than others. 
I know, but then, then, and then the person who didn't want to do it would get down there and he'd be right into it, doing the best job. <laughs> kind of turn it like this. Good enough, dude. <laughs> All that hard work. They invested in it because they built the house themselves, they installed it themselves. We actually had one of our kids who went to the community meetings to explain what was going on. It was our students who helped lead the meeting and, and asked for help. So yeah, the they really did take ownership of it. And they were all excited to come out here today. They kept saying, when are we gonna put up our houses? When are we gonna put up our houses? So it was a pretty exciting project. The tent thing keeps predators from eating the babies, like, Squirrels, raccoons, cats, and all those other things that can climb. You need to have things that people can personally do in their own daily lives to make a difference, to help habitat, to help wildlife. And nest boxes are the perfect tool for doing that because you can do this virtually anywhere, no matter urban, rural, northern Minnesota, southern Minnesota, other parts of the United States, and regardless of your age. Um, it's good. Yeah, we'll rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>